Hooked up? Saw it go down weird. Hooked up, babe? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Our sizzle and pudding coming at you from Stewart, Florida today. We are offshore, a little on the sporty side, so sorry if it's a little bumpy for you. We already caught bait, and like I said, we just ran out real slow because it's a little on the sporty side by ourselves. Brian is hooked up. You wait, you want me sliding it down? What we got, what we mm -hmm. got? Brian's not saying anything, he's silent Frank today. <laughs> is it a little deep? It's probably a bonita. Whoa! Whoa. Watch that engine. Uh, I don't know. Tuna stay deep like that. Still don't say that out loud. I didn't have a ton of drag on here. And I missed them, and I missed them again. That's okay. Don't get them all bloody, forget it. All right, all right. All right, Bonita coming in the boat. Woo! Brian's still a mute. <sighs> Just that wore me out, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> First fish of the day. That's a summertime tuna. Whew. AKA Big Bonita. Big Bonita. Strips for days. I'm gonna send on a flat line right now. That was the first bait in the water and got eight right away. So that's a good sign. Whew. Fish are chewing. All right, there he is. There's Brian's Bonita. Nice fish. Again, we call these summertime tuna or Bonita down here, also known as a false albacore. So now we got fresh bait for bottom fishing, dead bait, and then we also can use this to make strips in the future. So we'll see what happens, but we're gonna keep them. And it's always good to have bait. Yeah, I'm kind of killing it. <laughs> killing it. Killing it. I mean, we just came, you know, it was bumpy. So we just came out here, we'd find a nice spot to drift. And we're just gonna drift with the current. You know, we got a small boat. And so sometimes you gotta fish the conditions. And uh, that's what we're doing. We yeah. Two lines on top, two yep. down with weights, with Bonita. thread fins. And a bunch of porpoises over here. And there's a bunch of porpoises which are no good because they scare away other fish, even worse than sharks. So we have to wait for them to clear to maybe catch a fish. Yeah, we need to drift in. We need to drift in. We're drifting in. Very slow. It is very slow, covering water. Yeah. All right. Hooked up, I think. All right, so we're just slowly making our drift in because the wind is pushing us in closer to shore here. And we got a nice current today as well, which makes that good for bottom fishing. Oh, he's a big boy. You okay, Sizzle? You're getting schooled. You gotta put the drag up. He just woke up, realized he was hooked. That's how you ran after our first date. You realized you were hooked. And you took off running under the boat. Duh. Get up here, big boy. That's what you said to me on our third date. You got teeny gaff, you gotta get close. Ooh, Ooh he's a big monster. eat. That is a monster. That is a monster. Woo! Whooped That's a big, butt. that is a huge bonita. Huge bonita. That's the biggest one we've caught in the summer so far. That is a monster. Oh yeah. I got him right in the guts too, good he's shot. He's about 20. Nah, 15 pounds. He's big. He's big. Only if that were a tuna. At least I got him right in the gut to ruin, to make him bleed a lot on the boat and to ruin all the uh, strips. I know. Perfect shot. Yes. Oh. Get that fish up. Oh, you got a fish on, dude. I mean, when well, you got color. Good job, babe. Good job, babe. Oh, mine is going off. We gotta get this fish, though. Who's that fucking Big Jack Craval. Oh, my lord. Put him in there. Watch it. Oh, my goodness. You get him so I can get that fish. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, Jesus. I can't get him up. Dude, you're exhausted. No, oh, I just had everything awkward. Oh my lord. You ready? Amberjack. No. Mutton. Oh, mangrove. Let's flip them in. Whoa! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh my god. Monster. Oh my god. That was worth it. Sorry, Brian got worked by a trash <laughs> fish, but hey, well, it's not really a trash fish, but 
for us out here. We just landed two back-to-back -back monsters. This guy was way off the marks. Yeah, let's get that uh, jack back marks. in the water. What? Let's get the jack back in the water yeah. if we can. All right, guys, this is Brian's absolute beast. Again, biggest fish in the boat so far. Gonna get excited over that big mangrove, too. Look at that brute. Holy moly. That is a brute of a Jack Carval that just whooped Brian's butt right there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I mean, he's just massive. Yeah. Massive, massive fish. But let's go ahead and let him go back home. We're not going to keep him. You can eat him if you want, but we're not. Head first, dunk. Woo! And he's gone. Took off. <laughs> That fish was exhausted, but that fish whooped Brian's tail. I want to get over and see you And then we got to talk about the bonus fish over here. It's not even a bonus. That fish is the craziest fish. Dude, this was hooked forever. A shark could have easily ate him in two seconds, but he did not. What is that, like eight pounds? Dude, this is a stud. No, six pounds. How many? Five, six pounds. Eight. No way. No way, Jose. I know what a 10-pound snapper looks like now. He was double the size of this guy. All right. Beautiful mangrove snapper right there. Look at that gorgeous fish. Beautiful. That's a stud. Nice fish. Yes, beautiful. Thanks, Dad, fish. for sending me an awesome mangrove snapper. Yeah. My dad uh, passed away two and a half years ago, if you didn't know. But I grew up catching these bad boys with my dad. So, got to thank him for sending me my first fish of the day. Right? That's my first? No. I got the Bonita. And then I got the first keeper dinner fish in the boat. Thanks, Dad. Look at that. Stud. They're so beautiful. All right, but he was hooked for a long time while I was over there messing with Brian's rod. So it's just really a miracle nothing else grabbed him or anything like that. But interesting that we found this guy also way off our numbers. So let's do another drift and see what happens. Got hit 20 feet from the boat. I was just reeling it up. You better reel. It's probably Bonita. Yeah, I was reeling up the bait to check it. And like it just got hit at the engine right here. Watch out. Mutton. They're up high. Holy crap. This is Kuda. Holy crap. That's a nice one, what Sizzle. What is going on? These fish are way back. Look how far we're off the numbers again. That's a lunker. Bro, I'm dropping a bait right here. No, no, we're gonna we reset. I just I hooked him on the surface over here. All right, go ahead. Right Whatever. here. Or we can reset, go ahead. All right, let's reset. We gotta drip back further. I'm getting the bites way off the marks. That's both back to back now. Yeah. That's just another five pound fish. They're all hanging out together off the back side of these numbers. All right, let's go back. That's unreal. They're way out in the sand over here. I did not think that was a mutton. I was like reeling as fast as I could to check the bait real quick and I was gonna redrop and he ate it on the reel up. Like, it's not a bad fish at all. Beautiful. Yeah, at least five pounds. Yeah, great. All right. All right so man. I'm stacking up the boat with ginner fish so far. Brian got eight, but lost his hook on that last one. So we're going to reset. Let's get on some more fish. But so far, great quality in the boat. No complaints. And we're off the structure where the S words live. <laughs> more fish for me. Beautiful. Oh, Jesus. Mini, mini, mini. It's a keeper. That's not a keeper. No, it's not even close. Right in all the numbers, way back in the Oh! Back. Brian, why did you? Dude, what is it? you got to be quicker. Let me see. Oh, it's a bar is that a barracuda? Huge barracuda. Look at them. There's five of them on them. Look at the size of that barracuda. I know. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, put it hooked up. Real Randall, real. All right, hooked up. What is that? Oh my God, look at the shark. Oh my Lord, Oh yeah. my Lord, put him right here. Get it, AJ. Hold on, no, 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 And he's gone. Who's that? Wait, that shark wanted him so bad. Oh, man. That was insane. I don't know if the GoPro caught that, but you can see that big uh, sandbar shark come up and try to eat this juvenile AJ. Nice work. Got him past the sharks. Nice job by me. You ripped that fish in. Yeah, did you see that shark at all? No. 
I mean, I did want you to point them out. He's big. Not bad. Wish he was a rudderfish. Good job. Another species in the boat. You know, we're not destroying it today, but for, for a couple, for the fishing couple, living their dream out here. Yeah. Quite delicious dinner. Catching a wide variety of fish. I don't fish. know what else I would want to do. Wide, vari Ooh. Ooh, wide variety, ooh, wide variety of fish. You know, not every day is going to be, you know, one for the ages. Although, you know, I don't know, it's pretty incredible to me. You have, a, have an attitude of gratitude out here. And to some folks, maybe to us this isn't the best day in the whole wide world, but to a lot of folks, this is the best day in the whole wide world. So, I'm glad you guys come along with us. I think my bait got taken. Your bait got taken. We miraculously appeared back at the house, guys. <laughs> we actually ended up getting rained out out there and we had to run in real quick. And we made it in in the nick of time before the thunder and lightning got too close to us. But it's the time of the year for that. So Brian is going to go over a little bit of a tackle time right now for you. <laughs> yeah, we stayed home today because it was pouring rain. And, uh, you know, as, just as I know Darcy just said, we ran in because of rain. But, you know, as captains out there, guys, just, you know, come in conservatively. Yeah. No big deal. Plenty of days to fish. Yeah. We don't have radar. Yeah, we don't have radar. So, we, you know, we look at our phones and stuff like that. Yeah. But anyway, um, I want to go over a little bit of tackle time. I know we talk about Darcy's bottom rigs a lot. Yes. Um, you know, maybe not enough for some of you. I'm sure not everyone's seen it, but we've made a couple changes lately, and mainly we've gone heavier. So I wanted to just mention that to you because we fish with some other folks, and they're using heavier gear. And where we used to fish in Boynton, like what's the biggest mutton down there? Like a big like one. Five pounds. Five it's pounds. Nice yeah, and it's like no AJs. No. And now we're fishing in Stewart for a couple years, and we catch ten pound muttons. Yes. Grouper. Yes. Huge AJs. Yes. We gotta fight sharks all the time. And we realize we probably have lost a lot of big bottom fish because we're not using the right tackle as well. Right. So you want all. It's also part of conservation is having the right tackle. So it's very important, right? So today, uh, we were fishing with somebody and he uses a boat rod, a 50 to 80 pound rated uh, boat rod. So we went out and got one of those today. We we got a uh, what is a Shimano Talus, Darcy? Yes. Yeah. Shimano, Shimano Talus. Talus. Uh, boat, it's basically a boat ride used for trolling, okay, yeah. and it's uh, rated for like, I can't even read, of course, 40 to, 40 to 80, Yeah. okay, it's really stiff, so she's, and it's short, so she's going to be able to horse those fish off the bottom more with a lot more leverage. Uh, the reel she's using, she's using our, not a very popular reel, but a great reel is the uh, Shimano Torium, that's what I use, yes. a pretty much standard bottom reel for a lot of folks, and, uh, you know, or whatever. Uh, we're using 50 pound braid, you can use up to 100 pound braid. And then folks we've been fishing with have not been using too much fluoro, Darcy, right? No, it's all mono. Yeah, they've been using Pink Andy. Straight okay, mono. Okay, from 60 to 80 pound liters and just catching a ton of fish. Yeah. Um, so what we do is we got, so you got the main line on there, 50 to 80 pound braid, and then we put like a top, a short top shot, like 10 or 20 feet, so you can just tie stuff on. Yeah. And I'll put a little diagram here, but you put on what, your swivel, a barrel swivel first, right, and then a bead. Right. And then another barrel swivel, right. and to that barrel swivel you tie your leader. And you're gonna to want to use a longer leader as you can as you can handle. Yeah. Right for your skill level. So for this fishing day, we had no current, so I was using a shorter leader when you right. don't have current because it doesn't stretch out, obviously. So it was about a 10 foot leader in this yeah. particular video, but I usually like to run a 20. Right. And if you're like, longer. and if you're anchored up, you can let that leader run forever. Like if you want to catch muttons, and I use like 40 foot sometimes. Yes. And uh, people always ask, Darcy, why do they? Why do you need a longer leader? Uh, the longer and lighter your leader is, the more bites you're going to get. Yes. So the smarter the fish, the longer and lighter leader. Right. So mutton, big muttons are very, very smart. You're going to stretch it out to 40, 50 feet if you can handle it. Right. They don't want to see that weight bouncing on the bottom. They're very smart and they'll know instantly that's not normal and it's one away from your bait. All right. So but, that's the gist of it. But yeah, I'm just going to say that most bottom fish you can catch, you know, over the course of the year and nice fish too on about a 10 foot leader. That's usually like all around. Most charter boats will fish that. So yeah, it's a good length. Just right. heads up. Yeah. But go longer if you can. If yes. you can handle it, of course. <laughs> so. And we use, we use a lot of circle hooks. Uh, you can use a J hook. There's a, on, in Florida, there's a line up by Vero Beach, you have to use circle hooks above. Yes. You know, circle hooks are a great idea for releasing fish and everything. Yes, else. somebody did say in one of our recent videos, why are you using J hooks? So that's the reason why you're allowed to use both J's and circles to release fish. Right, and a lot of the places we're fishing, you don't know what you're gonna catch. Yeah. So, and as you, if you saw the videos also, you know, none of the fish are good hooked, they all got released fine, so. Exactly, right. exactly. Crank don't yank. That's what <laughs> that's you're right. saying. <laughs> when a fish, that Stole means, it from when it starts go, when a rod starts bending over, Start cranking. You're not setting any hooks, all right? Don't do that. Nope. The, the line is too far away. Yeah. Right. Go back and watch the video. You'll see I just started cranking. Yes. Yes. 
All right. All right, guys. Hope you learned a thing or two. Drop any questions you have down in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this episode and a lot more adventures coming your way real soon, every Tuesday and Thursday. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on catching. catching. You gotta get your truck. You got brand new wheels on it. Got new tires on it. What do they call it? Um, feet? Got brand new feet? No one says that. Baby feet? <laughs> no one says that. What do they say? Baby? What do they say? Feet? They don't say that. Oh. <laughs>